This is a Frigidaire side by side with ice maker and dispenser. A common complaint about the fridge is that the ice dispenser clogs. So to fix this, we're going to want a Phillips head screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver. First step is to flip the breaker for safety unless you want to pull the fridge out and unplug it. Now that the fridge is turned off, we're going to remove these two trays to get to the ice maker. Now that the ice maker is exposed, take your quarter inch nut driver and loosen these so that you can take it off. With that done, I'm going to lift it up, come out, pull it out. There's a wiring harness back here that you'll need to pull the tabs on the side and disconnect. Here's what the unit looks like from the side. We're going to remove this screw to get to the adjustments. With the Phillips head screw removed, we can pop off this plate. This is the adjustment screw. It's Phillips head to decrease the amount of time that water flows into the ice maker and make the cubes not stick together as much after they come out, you can turn it clockwise. I've already adjusted it some and I'm going to turn it a quarter turn clockwise here. Put the plates back on, start with the bottom and get this tab in, then you'll put the Phillips head screw back here. Something I wasn't paying attention to during the making of the video is that this piece goes here. So you'll need to make sure you do that or you'll have to take it out again. So it should be inserted like that. After you've got that piece inserted and the panel secured with the Phillips head screw, then you can continue. With that screw put in and the plate secure, the first thing I'm going to do is connect the wiring harness, keeping in mind that it's directional. With the wiring harness connected, we're going to slide the ice maker back on, making sure that this piece is able to go up under the water dispenser. Put it back on the quarter inch mounts and then we'll tighten it. So just use the quarter inch nut driver on both sides to tighten it. If you have any leftover pieces of ice in the tray that looks like they, they may be too much for the auger to break up and they, they would get stuck in the ice dispenser, you may want to remove them now. So I'm removing this piece. You can tell it's got way too much water flowing into the ice machine. Now we're ready to slide the ice tray back in. Just make sure that the back of it goes under this arm. So it should be inserted like that. This arm lifted and secure it and then put in the tray here. Now we're ready to turn it back on. I don't know if this step is necessary. Just go ahead and follow the instructions on this sign to manually advance the ice maker to make sure it starts a new cycle again and you can get your ice sooner. 